Hi, this is Ken Nelson with the Tactical Performance Center. In today's whiteboard chat, I want to talk about a key difference between us and other schools. What's that difference? A system. In particular, the reactive shooting system that my partner and co-founder, Ron Avery, developed. It's simple, elegant, and brilliant and I use it every day I teach, and I use it every time I shoot. I'm gonna talk about how we use it to help us become better shooters, to help us become better instructors, and how you might use it to become a better shooter or an instructor if you are instructing. I'm gonna talk about it in context of debugging shooters. Sometimes we call it debugging. Uh, a more formal word for it is performance coaching. Uh, Sometimes uh, students might call it Ken's barrel because when you come to class, a lot of times I set a barrel up. Students come in and, and I performance coach them for half an hour, an hour. We try to do that with every student, sometimes every day, but certainly every class. So debugging using the reactive shooting system. First thing you do is you start with a question. What's happening with my process? that's leading to the outcome. We don't start with the outcome and, and blame the outcome. The hole is in the wrong spot, there isn't a hole, I missed the target, I'm shooting slow, I'm shooting late. Whatever the issue is, it's gonna be in the process, so look there. So we start with a question. Basically, it's gonna be, is it a fire control issue or is it a problem with the way you're doing the reactive shooting cycle? Let's start with fire control. So fire control, the fire control triad, is built on stance, grip, and trigger. Now each of those have a purpose. For instance, the stance, one of the purposes is to provide natural point of aim. Another purpose is to provide uh, recoil management, which you've seen in other videos I've done. Recoil management being it comes back difficult and it comes back passively. So when we look at students that are struggling or having an outcome they don't want, our thoughts turn to, well, what is the stance? Are the purposes of the stance being met? Are the purposes of the grip being met? Are the purposes of the trigger being met? Now, if they have a problem with the purpose, in other words, let's say a student is uh, not managing recoil as effectively at higher speeds, right? Well, then we ask, what principle could they apply better to help solve that purpose. Notice that we usually talk in positive terms. I want to let you know what you can do to help. And I urge you to take that attitude into your own training and into your instruction if you're an instructor. So for instance, if they're having difficulty managing recoil at higher speeds of shooting, perhaps their center of gravity, one of the principles that we apply to achieve the purpose uh, is not being met. Maybe we can work on them and getting their center of gravity forward. Maybe their ears ahead of earmuffs. Perhaps they just need to relax. Isolation of tension is another principle. We don't know where that's going to go. Um, if you come to class, uh, we'll give you all the purposes, all the principles. Um, there's quite a few of them. And then you just go through a little checklist and see, well, what do I need to work on that will help me achieve this purpose? What principle can I do better to achieve this purpose? So when we're running a line, uh, let's say we have eight person, 10 person line, we don't run big lines. Uh, usually there'll be, well, there'll always be a lead instructor, there'll always be an assistant instructor, and usually there'll be another assistant instructor. Um, we're evaluating each student every iteration on all of those. Okay, and we're gonna give that to whoever's doing the performance coaching and say, uh, this student needs to work on center of gravity, they're having trouble at gunfight speed, four to five shots a second. Now that's fire control. Now, the reactive shooting cycle, which you can see on our website, I don't know if I can include a link in it, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it in the comments. Uh, I'm not a YouTube guru. Um, so the shooting cycle is the minimum set of things that you need to do to get a hit at the earliest time. That's what it is. 
Now, it starts with rising with sights aligned and pausing, or if you're in the middle of shooting, it might be moving over to another target with sights aligned and pausing. Then you see what you need to see. Once you see what you need to see, you isolate the action of the trigger. That's a video I covered, uh, a topic I covered recently with three tips on that. Uh, you're pulling the trigger, you let recoil happen. That's the passive part of follow through. You call the shot, the call in the shot. Uh, we have videos on that, look it up. Um, it's a bit of an art, but it's very important. When you start doing it, you go, ooh, how did I ever shoot without this? Um, so call the shot, and then we do the active part of the follow through, where we return the gun down to the target, we're picking up the sights again, and our trigger is being reset, ready to fire, while the gun is still in motion from the recoil or bringing it back. And then we repeat. Now. I have not encountered a student ever since I became aware of this system about six years ago where they weren't doing, not meeting the purpose of the fire control triad, stand script trigger, or when we get into more advanced uh, diagnosis where they weren't either doing some part of the shooting cycle wrong or they were doing it out of order. Super common to do it out of order. Oh, let's say I'm doing the active follow through when I should be isolating the trigger, right? It's anticipation. Uh, uh, I'm not letting recall happen. That's an example of doing it wrong. All right, so once you know what principle, once you know what part you're doing wrong or what you're doing out of order, then you design an exercise and you can do it on your own. And we have plenty of them and we're trying to crank out two or three for you every week that directly addresses fixing the, applying the principle better to fix the purpose or doing what you're doing wrong correctly or doing what you're doing out of order in the correct order. So there is the system for performance coaching. I'm not really revealing a trade secret. We want you to know this. We want it to help you. Come train with us. We'll help you figure it out. Southern Utah, about an hour and a half north of Las Vegas, or we will bring our team to you. We need two bays at least, really to run a class, prefer three, so we can do performance coaching and split things up, uh, not just by skill level, but how people learn. That's a very important way to think about how to run a training class. Um, the Learn Right Now menu right up here, share it with a friend who you don't mind beating you. And take this system to heart. Come train with us if you can. If not, read what we're putting out and start using it and see if you can't dramatically increase your performance quickly with less ammo and with less time on the range than maybe you thought was ever possible. I'm Ken Nelson. I'll see you on the range.